In this video, I'm going to show you how to export out of Azure Sub into the Subrip uh, closed caption file format. So what I have here is I'm in Azure, uh, Azure Sub. I have my video, I have my audio, and I've got my transcription all done. And what I want to do from here is just export my file into the Subrip format. So under File, uh, whoops, let me go into Azure Sub. Click on Azure Sub under File, Export as I have the export dialog box and what we have here are is we have templates for different things karaoke transform and in terms of captioning and in terms of separate file you're not going to use any of these uh, filters the next thing you need to decide is what sort of text encoding you want I use um, Unicode 8 um, if you are using a Mandarin or other uh, double byte Asian languages, you're going to go, you want to want to go up to a Unicode 16 or in some cases Unicode 32. Um, the, the larger the file size, so let's say you receive Unicode, uh, English and Unicode 32, it just makes for a bigger file. Now, text files are pretty small, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I use, uh, because most of mine are either Western languages, I use Unicode 8 in that sense to work very well uh, for most languages except for double byte Asian characters. So, a Unicode 8. It's the most universal. I hit export, and then it's going to give me a save as dialog box. So this is my uh, transcript, my you know caption file, and uh, then in terms of file type, I'm going to drop down this menu, and I've got a couple of different options: uh, EBU, I've got Adobe format, I've got a, a micro DV sub format, and this is the one that I want. I want the subrip or SRT format. So I'm going to select that, and I'm just going to hit save. So let's see what an SRT file looks like. This is what it looks like inside of Azure Sub. Let's see what the file looks like before you were to load it up into, for example, YouTube. So this is my file, and I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to open it up in a text editor. So let me find my text editor, text edit. Not very creative. And it's going to open up the file. And uh, what you see here is just like, let me load this up and you can see starting 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 0656.56 and here we go first entry 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 00568 a little bit more accurate I have music there's my text the next clip is from 8 to 14.355 8 to 0.3455 let's go and then there's again the same thing the next clip and so forth and so on and this goes on uh, however long your video is and this caption file is used by YouTube to then load in and caption this on screen properly. It, this file is also used in, in a bunch of other applications, which we'll get into later. Um, but that's how you create your transcript file, your fully synced transcript file. So that's how you create your fully synced transcript file.